Hey guys, welcome back to our series on getting started with the new MPVI 2 Plus. In this episode, we'll be discussing how to edit using the new MPVI 2 Plus, so let's get it started. All right guys, so talking about how to edit using the new MPVI 2 Plus, we're gonna go right into the editor, or at least that's what we want to do, right? Because everybody that wants to get started tuning thinks they need to start making changes right now. I'm gonna raise my whatevers, my shift points, rev limiters, whatever to the moon, and I'm gonna just go super fast, and that's, that's not normal reality, guys. So if you've been doing tuning for any, any length of time, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but if you're new, I'm gonna express this to you in a way that I think you'll get pretty easily, which is start with the scanner, okay? So starting with the scanner, I've got a scan pulled up here, actually from this particular uh, supercharged Challenger Scat Pack 6.4 with a Procharger D1X. Awesome build, great combo, car makes like 650 to the wheel pretty much any day of the week. Uh, so I'm gonna use this as a great example of how to edit using the MPVI 2 Plus. Now, again, we're not going straight to the editor. We're going to get to that, but we're gonna start in a little bit of a different area, which is going to be, what is the scan telling me? Before I go and make changes to the tune, what is the scan telling me about this vehicle? So I've got the scan open here, guys, and what we're gonna do is just do a quick look through top to bottom to see what the charts are telling us about this vehicle. So what we have here is a wide open throttle scan. You could tell because the accelerator pedal went all the way up to full here. Now, as I said in the previous video, this is a manual transmission car, which is the reason why there's a giant gap here while I figured out gear to gear, okay? Right between shifts, there's your gear shifts. And you can also see this because engine speed comes up, two, three, four, 5,000 RPM, 5,500. And then the clutch pedal engaged because the accelerator came down. And then we went to the next gear and the RPMs go back up again. Okay, so now we're starting to kind of get a feel for what's going on here with the Challenger. We're saying, okay, so this is clearly a full throttle run and we're gonna review our data from top to bottom. We say, okay, so the injectors are looking okay. We've got a good duty cycle. Our commanded AFR in the blue line here looks pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip on down to right here, which is everybody's favorite, which is going to be knock, okay? Knock retard in particular. And so if you look at this red line right here, we're going to see that during the full throttle portion, so while this green line was all the way at the top, we actually started seeing knock retard occurring. And we know this is true because we actually start to see uh, the spark advance move around as well. So uh, not good if you have been tuning for some period of time, or even if you haven't, you know knock is bad, okay? Bad, what that means is essentially there's uncontrolled combustion going on in the engine and sending you know bad things out the tailpipe. We don't want that to happen. Now, if we look right before we went full throttle, did we have any issues? Well, back here, while we're idling, we had no knock retard. And as we started to get into the throttle, we immediately start to see knock retard start to pick up. Now, uh, people always tend to ask, okay, I wanna make a change. I wanna turn it off. I wanna go right over here to the editor and I wanna zero out these knock sensors, guys. We don't want you doing that, okay? So understand that a part of this is learning a good tuning process. We will teach you a great tuning process. We'll teach you bolt-on, force induction, heads cam, all the stuff you need to know so that you don't create problems for your vehicle as you're learning in this editing phase. So feel free to check out our online courses, our learn at home courses, and of course, live seminars. If you're a hands-on learner, they are fantastic. Okay, so finishing this section up, guys, what you need to understand is that the scanner is going to tell us I had what looks like real knock, and we will teach you how to observe that in our classes, but understand this, right now, if I wanna go do some editing, I know this is telling me something important. I know this is telling me I have knock and I need to do something about it as the tuner, which is really great for this phase of edit. So I know that if I go and look at this RPM, which is about 3000, and this air charge, which is going up, starting at about one, which is when we're starting to see boost, we're seeing knock. And so our job as the tuner guys, in this phase using the MPVI 2 Plus is very simple. We need to go and look and see what's going on with our spark advance and how do we lower it so we don't have this problem persist. That's going to occur by locating spark tables in the engine tab. And we talked a little before about how the editor is broken up, but basically it's engine and then engine diagnostics, transmission, and it's pretty intuitive guys. So we're gonna go through engine and we're gonna go through spark. And then in the Dodge course, we teach you how to figure out what you're looking at because there's about a million tables in here, but I'm gonna direct you really quickly to the watt based table 
and we're going to do a quick observation and a quick edit before we close out. Okay, so understanding what the scanner told us, we can now make an editing change using the MPVI 2 Plus. We can say, okay, in our scan, we know we have knock in this area, which is about 3000 RPM and up, and the air charge of about one and up, which means we're in boost. And so that leads us to these coordinates of 3000 and about one. So right about here and right about here. And so this whole section in here is definitely a little bit too high, which means we're asking for too much spark advance. We're seeing knock occurring, which is bad, and we want to get rid of it. So using editing, what we're going to do is come in here and just simply remove four degrees, which is the amount of knock that we saw, and we'll use the plus minus four. If you don't like that method, you could just simply put the value you want in and then put equals. Uh, at this point in time, usually say people in the classes will say, hey, look, this created a pretty bad ledge. You know, my numbers are a pretty big jump, and they would be right. And the editor has some amazing features, guys. You can literally just grab the last uh, row and go up at least three, and you can use the interpolate feature, which is one of my favorite features. And it literally takes and just steps it nice and nice and gradually in. We'll go ahead and make that change. And then boom, now we have our edit. Our change is now complete so that in the tuning process, we now have the ability to move to the next phase. What this means is we've learned what the engine's telling us. We've made an editing change. We now are ready to save our file. And that brings us to our next phase, which is going to be called writing to the ECM, which we're gonna cover in our next episode. All right, guys, so stay tuned to our social media so you can catch that last video in the series on the new MPVI 2 Plus. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Welcome back to learning how to try and remember what MPVI 3 plus 4 equals 7. I have no idea where that was coming from. With, wait, what's it called again? Awful. All right, I'm ready. Hey guys, welcome back to our series on get our series. Can I say our series? I want to say our series. All right. <laughs>